For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God is not religion. It's not what you can do. Because if salvation can be what you can do, then there would be no Jesus Christ. Because if we can earn heaven, then there would have been no purpose for God to be manifest in the flesh and suffer and die for our sins. And the Bible would be made void by saying, not of works, least any man boast. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that Jesus Christ said himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says, I am the way, your way is no way. You doing something to obtain heaven is not approved by God. But that of Jesus Christ is approved. And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is not going to church. The gospel is not being baptized. The gospel is not doing work. The gospel is that the Lord Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's the gospel. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. We are. Thank, Thank you. you. The Bible does not say, Join a church, get wet, do this, and do that to be saved. Religion, man, and the devil say, Here, do this. Jump all the hoops. Make yourself look so good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, no, not one. You cannot and will not be able to be good enough with your good works to please God. Because the very foundation of man is we are sinners. We were born into sin, and we sin. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And yet the Lamb of God, as the precious blood of the Lamb without spot, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You are not that Lamb that take away the sin. You are the sinner that causes the sin in your life. And sinners cannot be in the presence of God. For God says, be holy, for I am holy. And when the Bible says all have sinned and come short in the glory of God, and our sins will kill us, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. People have been lied, deceived, to think that I as a human being can do something for God to say, look how good you are. And God has said, again, there is none that doeth good. And now is the time to believe. Because you may not have any further time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Salvation is not to be put off. Because you're not even guaranteed to finish the morning off, never mind the afternoon. 
people found in cemeteries have a to-do list that they never did. We, as time, has been born to die. And on your tombstone, you have the birth date, time, and you have the death date, time. That little dash is your line. And in that dash of your life, the Bible says out of the mouth of Jesus, you must be born again. And if you do not have a new birth, when your time is up and you die, you will go off into eternity, into a place called hell. And hell is much harder than it will be today. Florida heat in the summer will be like air conditioning in hell. The tropics will be a much improvement to what the temperatures in hell will be. And when one dies, they will enter off into eternal life, and there is no more time in eternity. It's forever. And what you do with your time right now on this earth, while you are living, will decide where you go into the eternal life. Reject Jesus Christ, and you will take that rejection, and you will bring it to you with hell, and that hell be cast off with death into the lake of fire that burneth forever. And there will be no relief. If you're to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ to be saved, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. When you enter off into the eternal life by death, the Bible says, absent from the body, and present with the Lord. You go off into eternal life without time to be with the Lord that suffered and died for you. Don't think that your life here on this planet Earth, that's it, once I die, it's done and finished. It is not. Time has only begun when you die. And when you die, there's only two places you can go. The two places you can go when you die is you can go to heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And the other place you can go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. And this cannot be heaven because there are sins and there are sinners and there's death and there's hospitals and there's police and there's suffering and that is not found in heaven. People have a lying misconception of what heaven and hell is. Hell is the departure of God and Jesus Christ because you will not believe on him. You don't want to have anything to do with God and Jesus, that's perfectly fine. Hell's the perfect place for you. Because there is no God, there is no Jesus, and there's no Bible in hell. But there are torments. There are suffering. You have a physical body that will be tormented forever in a place called hell. Because you have not taken the time to put the trust and the faith in the word of God through Jesus Christ who is able to save your soul, the uttermost. Some of you just choose to reject it. That preacher is going to shut up. There's, oh well, there is no hell. And some of you are going to say, well, my religion is okay. My religion is good enough. My priest can, can eliminate my sins, and that's a lie. No, say that a lot. I appreciate it. Because the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. 
Nowhere in the church age period can you find doing something that can save your soul. The fact is that we have the birth of Jesus, we have the death of Jesus according to the scriptures. We have Jesus being entombed. We have Jesus rising from the dead. According to the scriptures. That is what is approved of God. That is the one that said, I am the way. The truth. And the light. That is the one that will get you in the presence of God forever. You are not and will never and cannot be good enough ever. You cannot attend the utmost church services. And that priest that gives you the last rites is a sinner just as much as you are and probably more so. How can a sinner relieve a sinner of his debt when he's got his own debt to pay? And yet you can come to the sinless one, the perfected one, that of God to be saved and saved forever. And that salvation is only and by Jesus Christ and no other is able to save your soul. You will come to one day your life's end. And in your life's end, what you do with Jesus will determine where you go when you die. And if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. And if you reject Jesus Christ, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. It's your choice. It's your option. It's all laid upon Jesus Christ and what you do with him. And when you reject Jesus, you will be rejected by Jesus. And when you have received Jesus, you will be received by Jesus. Listen, there are no denominations in glory. It's not being a Baptist, it's not being a Catholic, it's not being a Presbyterian, it's not being a scientist. It's being a Bible-believing, born-again Christian by the faith and works of Jesus alone. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't give you a church. He didn't give water to be saved. He gave his son, Jesus Christ, who is God, manifested in the flesh to save your soul. And your salvation, thank you, your salvation can only be that of Jesus Christ, God. And Jesus Christ is God. Even if you're a Jehovah Witness or a Unitarian, Jesus is God and he's able to save your soul. And everything that is needed to go to heaven has been accomplished, has been finished upon the cross of Jesus. When Jesus said, it is finished. The preservative to get you to heaven is Jesus Christ.
religion is an artificial preservative that God won't take. And many people today will not have artificial preservatives in their food. And God will not have artificial preservatives in His heaven. Religion is an artificial preservative made by man. Not approved of God. Science is a preservative artificial made by Satan. God will not approve of it. God created the heavens and the earth and man. Not no Big Bang. The earth goes in a Big Bang. It was not started by a Big Bang. It was started by a loving creator that suffered and died for us in our condition called sin. And you are a sinner. I guarantee you have lied, you have taken something, and you have not honored your parents. And when you have lied, and or stolen, and or discredited your parents, that's one of the big ten of the Ten Commandments. One sin makes you guilty of a sinner. And the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Now a person does not go into hell a sinner. A person goes into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ to cleanse their sins. A man that rejects Christ goes into hell. Good people are in hell. Wicked people are in hell. And you will be in hell for rejecting Jesus. Heaven is filled with born again Christians that are saved by the blood of Jesus. Your denomination is not taken at the gates of New Jerusalem. You will wish you had the water of baptism in hell to cleanse your tongue. You will be quite shocked when you die to realize your church did not do anything for your soul. You will be shocked to realize to be an atheist and the Bible says prepare to meet thy God when you die. Just because you don't believe in God doesn't make God, oh, I got to disappear because this imbecile doesn't believe in me. Atheism is a religion. You have to believe there's no God. I love the Lord. Evolution is a religion. You have to be in belief of the Big Bang and nothing. Just as much as God created the heavens and the earth. And the God that created me saved my soul. The God that created me said, I love you enough to die for you. I love you enough that I will be buried for you. And I love you to show you my power of who I am. I am coming out of that grave. Three days and three nights. How is your priest doing that's dead? Still in the graveyard. How is your pastor doing that's dead? Still dead. But my Jesus is alive forevermore at the right hand of the Father right now. Now, you may not like the preaching of the Bible. You may not like the preaching of the, of the gospel. But God says in Romans 10, I love them feet. I love the mouth that proclaims Jesus. And I want your heart to put the faith in him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 
God says, come now. Let us. God says, let's get together. Isn't that a good word for a farmer's market? God says, come now, let us. Let us. Come together. Because God wants you to be saved. God is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish. You may not love God, but God loves you enough to keep things going for you to get the opportunity to be saved. God's opportunity to have the preacher come every Saturday to hear the gospel. That's the love of God. The Bible says, come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white as wool. And you're not going to get that in religion. You are not going to come clean of your sins except by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And the Bible goes on to say that he that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And without Jesus, it's the wrath of God. And what is the wrath of God? Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The wrath of God is hell. Because you will not believe in Jesus. You will come about with your infidel excuses. God, I have a religion. God, look at what I can do. God, there's no God. God, there's no hell. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God one day. And prepare to meet there is a place called hell. Prepare to meet that there is a Savior named the Lord Jesus Christ. And that Savior said, I am. He said, not me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. How are you enjoying the heat today? It's only going to get hotter today. It gets the ultimate hottest forever, and there's no AC in hell. There are no fans in hell. There is no relief in hell. There is no refreshments in hell. There is torments forever because you choose to reject Jesus. You want comfort? You want grace? You want mercy? You want relief? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. How's your body doing? How's it feel? You know the Bible says those that are saved, when they get into New Jerusalem, they get a brand new body. A body that won't break down. A body that won't sin. A body that will have no more pain, no more sorrow. No more medication. No more doctors. No more health problems. No more growing old. Without The Bible says even through the salvation of Jesus Christ, in Revelation 22, He will wipe our tears away. There are no sorrows in heaven by Jesus Christ. What's opposed to heaven? Trials and tribulations and torments forever. That man that went to hell said, Oh, if I could just have a little drop of water to cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. You will not have alcohol in hell 
If you could, alcohol vaporizes with flame. Alcohol burns. And if you could have alcohol in hell, it would only burn you the worse. You will not have friendships in hell. Your friends may be in hell, but they won't care a flying flip about you. Because there's no friendship in hell. There's torment, agony. Shut up, I'm in pain. That's what hell's like. They don't want and not ever care about anybody else but themselves in hell. And that's forever. You don't wear a wristwatch in hell. You do not have a calendar in hell. Hey, you want the ultimate punishment? You will not have your cell phone in hell. No cell phone service in hell. For some of you, that would be complete torment. You'll be in hell forever. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, where's my phone? There's no peace in hell. There's no love in hell, for the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. And since God and Jesus won't be in hell, the Holy Spirit won't be there, and there'll be no love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience. You will lose your patience in hell. <laughs> It'll come to naught. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Well, you know, preacher, I've got my religion. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Your pastor, your priest, your rabbi, your whoever. Just as much as a sinner as you are. And don't you dare get the foolish notion that all preachers are going to heaven. You'll be surprised on what men of the pulpits, men of the cloth, will be in hell. You'll be quite surprised. I'll tell you who you will not find in hell. You will not find God. You will not find Jesus. You will not find the Holy Spirit. You will not find the Bible. Hey! You'll never hear Bible preaching again in hell. But you will not have love in hell. You'll not have hope in hell. Because the Bible says the blessed hope is Jesus. And without Jesus, you're hopeless. You're tormented. And with Jesus, what can you get? You can get out of hell. Free. And not only that, oh, oh, what am I going to do with heaven? Sit on a cloud and have a harp? Oh, much more. You go to a city where there's no more night, no more insecurity, no more health care, no more pain, no more sorrow. No more sinning. Every situation you've got right now, for the worst, can be solved by the finished work of Jesus when you die and get to glory. You do not age in glory. You will not need those aches and pains in glory. There is no Ben Gay in heaven. It's not needed. But there's no bottle of water in hell either. Enjoy your water while you can if you want to reject Jesus. Because you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I'm the water of life. 
And that man that rejected God and Jesus said, oh, if I could just have a little dip of water. Come to Jesus and drink of the Spirit. Come to Jesus and be satisfied. Now you're going to need water living. But in Jesus Christ is satisfaction. Oh, water tastes good. Even warm water on a hot day like this. And you're going to want just a drop of water when you're in the hottest place ever to be. Where is the hottest place on this earth today? I can tell you where. It's in hell, the center of the earth. Don't rely on Google. Google does not know how hot it is in hell. God does. And you know how you know God knows how hot it is in hell? Because He for so loved us that He gave His only begotten Son that if we were to believe on Him, we will have eternal life, and we will have eternal life, and we will have eternal life out of the flames of hell through Jesus and Jesus alone. That's how hot hell is. Are you sweating right now from the heat? You won't sweat in hell. Because you'd be able to take that sweat and cool your tongue. Ah, a little salty. You will have a dry heat of no humidity in hell. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. It's your choice. No one can make the decision for you for salvation but you alone. And you are without excuse because you have heard that Jesus saved. Ooh, that breeze feels good. There's no breeze in hell. And the worst thing about hell is, you don't need to go. You have heard a loud mouth preacher that has aggravated the fire of you to how dare he preach God in the Bible at a farmer's market to tell you that Jesus saved. Listen, I already know you hate it because the Bible told me you would hate it. But you hate God, not the preacher. And if you love God, you would stand on the side of Jesus of salvation. Broad is the way that goes to destruction. And many go thereafter. There are many people in hell today. Don't be one of them. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's better than his singing. Puerto Rican. That's better than him singing. He's gone somewhere. Listen, the Bible says, For God so loved the world. Many of you, that you want the love of God message. And the love of God message is Jesus. And only Jesus. It cannot be anything else. And we are here to warn you. Church is a good thing. But it will not save your soul. Yeah, he's getting paid for a radio being played. He's got a long break.
Yeah, hot. But hotter in hell. You know the mercy of God, I just said I love that breeze he just said. That's the mercy of God. The mercy of God that you can get out of hell through Jesus. Just break that pride and come to Jesus to be saved. Confess and repent of the sinner that you are. And you are a sinner. You were born in sin. And in sin, and my, mo and my mother conceived me, the Bible says. The Bible says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. Snow would be good right now. I hate snow. I come from New England. I hate snow, but that would be good right now. There's no snow in hell. There's no cool in hell. There's no AC in hell. There's no breeze in hell. There's no relief in hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved from hell. You'll be shocked to find your religion in hell. And your religion will be in hell. Because religion doesn't go into heaven. Religion comes short. I get 875. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and religion makes you come short because it does not glory God only Jesus glories God you do not glorify God I don't glorify God I'm a sinner saved it's Christ that liveth in me glorifies God. The wages of sin is death. You will die because you are a sinner. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Come now, let us reason together. God is saying, come, come on out. And we will take a Bible and show you the way of salvation. You got to come out. We can't go in. You see, the Bible says, marvel not if the world hates you. The farmer's market hates Jesus. You gotta come out. And we'll go find ourselves a nice shaded area. Good luck. And we will show you the way of salvation. And that salvation is only way through Jesus Christ. Don't think you'll make it without Jesus. You won't. Do not believe you're okay without Jesus. You're not. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus saved. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And there is no prosperity gospel. 
salvation will change your destination. It may not change your life problems. You may get more problems. But salvation in Jesus will get you out of hell to start. The greatest blessings of salvation comes after you die. But with salvation, you do get the indwelling Holy Ghost. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience. To endure with the world and its hardships. It is a biblical fact that God came down and suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And God came out of the grave three days and three nights according to the scriptures. And in those scriptures the Bible writes, these things that I have written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. I know it. If you don't know you're saved, you can know today. By taking your, your faith and put it in Jesus and out of something else. You got to come out of something else and anything and everything and come to Jesus to be saved. Because religion can't do it. Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's not Mary. It's not your priest. It's not your pastor. It's not your rabbi. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The hope is the blessed hope of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You got burdens and, and laden with troubles and problems? Bring them to Jesus. Do you fear death? Bring it to Jesus. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ yes, sir. Yes, to be sir. saved. That's what we have to do all of us. Yeah. 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 Other ways you will not want to go to Jesus for God. We have to believe in Jesus Christ. You can tell that query. You know, when you receive Christ as your Savior, the Gospel of Luke says the angels in heaven rejoice. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 